Welcome to the Strawberry Troth Introductory Tutorial for Design CAD Max version 22. The efficient way to use Design CAD is with keystrokes. I know you want to dive right in and get started, but these key sequences are pretty easy to remember. Recently, a friend told me about an interesting troth for holding strawberries. We'll model it here as a simple introduction to Design CAD. I'll start with the Design CAD screen already opened. When it first opens, you're likely to see the screen in 3D mode. We'll switch to 2D for our beginning work. Next, we're going to want to set our units. Just go down to where it currently says unitless and click. There's a menu option. And we'll set it to inches. Now, we use the Q key. Options are activated by Q. Under the View tab, there's some things that might be a little different the way I have them set up. I usually unclick double line bar. I usually add the layer toolbox and the view toolbox. The view toolbox will be useful later when we're in 3D mode. In the general tab, make sure your precision is at least 5. In the grid, we want to make sure that we have turned on display CS. In dimensions, we want to make sure we'll set it to the standard dimension format and we'll set our height to half inch. Now we're going to change our line color to green. Our first few lines are going to be guidelines that we'll later delete. By making them green, we can select them later. We start drawing lines using the V key. We can start pressing V and clicking anywhere. Next, I'll introduce you to the polar move. The point polar command is the semicolon. We're going to start out with a distance of 12 inches, an angle of 45 degrees, and that will be relative to the last point. This has put down our first line, and now we want to do the second part of the line. So we're, we will repeat. This time we'll make the distance 6 inches and minus 45 degrees. Press Enter to complete a line. Right now this is a little bit small. You can use Control W to fill the screen with whatever is currently on the screen. Now we filled up the screen maybe a little too much. You can go over here to the magnifying glass, click a couple times on the minus magnify, then click where you want things centered, use the scroll bars, and now we put it off a little bit to the left because we're going to copy and put make a copy that will go over here to the right. Now we're going to select this object and we want to select it at a particular point. When we want to snap to when we want to select at a particular point, we use the gravity snap. This is activated with the period key. You hover over over the point that you want, press the period. Now we've selected at this particular point. Next, we're going to want to mirror this line. 
the mirror command is activated with a forward slash. Once again, we hover near where we want, and we use the gravity snap, the period, to snap into place. Now we want to join these lines together. Like in many other systems, control A will select everything on screen. Now we want to join these lines. You can join lines together with the B command. Now that I've hit B, if I type if I click on anywhere on the line, the entire line is selected. Now we want to make another set of lines that exactly parallel this and just below it by three quarters of an inch. That represents the, the thickness of the boards that we'll be using to make the trough. We go over here to our line tool and find the parallel line with specific distance tool. We type in 3 slash 4 to be 3 quarters of an inch. When we want to select a line, we can use the snap to line. We can snap to lines with the K command. Hover anywhere near the line. Click K. Now you can see that we could make a set of lines three quarters of an inch either above or below. We want these to be below. We move down below and now we've formed our lines. Now we've got most of our guidelines in place but we want to tweak these lines a little bit. We want to make guidelines that represent the actual boards that we will be using to build the trough. Before we can do that we have to break all the lines up. Once again, Control A selects everything. We can break the lines with the pipe command. Now that I press that key, each of these lines is its own individual line. Now what we want to do is take this line and extend it from this point to this line. We can do this with the extend tool. There are two ways, easy ways we can get to that. One is to go over here and select the extend tool. The other is to use the underscore key to extend lines. Now I go somewhere near where I want to click and I use the K to select the line. Then I go up to the line that I want to extend to, press K again to snap to the line. Now we want to move this line and have it connect right here. So once again, the extend tool near where we want, near where we want K again. Finally, we want this line to extend up to this point. Once again, extend, select, there we are, our final K snap. And now we have all our green guidelines in place. Now that we have our green guidelines in place, we want to make the planes that we will use. Th these guidelines will help us form the planes and 